think everybody's gonna like this one. How do you remain hopeful in the middle? Ooh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> how do you how do you remain hopeful in the middle? I feel like uh, me personally, I I go back and forth with this. Like I'm like, yeah, God's got it. All right, and then I'm like, all right, Lord. <laughs> um, I'm knocking up there like, hey, you there, Lord? You there? <laughs> but um, you know, for me, I have to constantly. Uh, I know one of the verses that I always. Um, I like to look back at is um, Jeremiah 29, 11, mm -hmm. where it says, uh, for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Mm -hmm. um, I know um, that God has great things destined for me. Yeah. And um, I try to remind myself of that scripture, not to be weary or, you know, or to worry about anything because, you know, God is good. Like God is a good God. He's not going to do anything to harm us. Like he wants to, and it goes back to question one, like he, he wants us to be prepared mm -hmm. for this big, I, I don't want to say burden. I want to say another B word, which is blessing, yeah. this big blessing that he's about to bestow on us. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, I, I try to think about that scripture as well as um, I have um, a lot of people, and you're one of them, of course, um, a lot of friends as well as family members that encourage me and let me know like, okay, it's going to be good. So if you want to be hopeful in the middle, have those people that are there to encourage you and let you know like, okay, yeah, it didn't work out this time or it didn't work out this way, but let's use another system or, you know, it's, it's just not your year, yeah. but don't give up on the dream. Just keep pressing on, just keep pressing on. And then, you know, it always reminds me of the story of Joseph. Like yeah. he was a young age when the Lord revealed, hey, you're going to be ruling over Egypt, you know? And yeah. so, and at times I feel like when God lays promises on our hearts, we forget that it's not, at times it's not going to be on our time frame. Yeah, like, sure. and, and we think like, oh, okay, you know, I'm going for this. I'm striving for this. Yeah. And it's going to happen this way. Like I, I, I feel like I, I, not I feel like I planned my whole life out. Like mm -hmm. I was like, all right. I'm going to be married at this time. I'm going to have kids at this time. I'm going to, like, I, everything. And it's funny because God is just laughing like, <laughs> oh, like, you don't know what I got in store for you. Yeah. But yeah, so having those people that will encourage you and, you know, always go back to scriptures because, you know, the scriptures never lie yeah. at yeah. all. Like, and, and they, they are a true encourager as well as God just being able to comfort and, um, with the scriptures, they reassure you that God is going to do it. Like, no yeah. matter what you're going through right now, like, God is going to do it. Mm -hmm. And like I said, people, other people's testimonies that I see, I'm just like, oh, I'm fired up. Like, yeah, I tap into that. It's going to yeah. happen too to me. Like, yeah. you know, and then genuinely being happy, like, like saying congratulations, because, you know, hey, your time's coming but also another big thing you know i like to sing i'm in my church choir <laughs> and um what, what, another what are you thing. are you like a soprano tenor alto i am an alto oh, all the way oh, alto alto. Pride. <laughs> <laughs> alto <laughs> <I'm an> alto. <laughs> but yeah so uh but um music also helps me a lot okay um, because at times when you, you don't, you don't want to talk to anybody when mm -hmm. you, you don't want to look at a scripture or anything. You just want to hear the, the, the lyrics and the songs. Mm -hmm. And, um, that, that is a big portion of, um, encour encouragement for mm -hmm. me. And, um, I, I'm like, listen, I got a lit gospel slash CCM playlist. So, <laughs> So whenever I'm feeling some type of way, I'm yeah. like, all right, let me get that playlist. Let me start playing it right now. So, um, but that's another way of staying hopeful. Okay. So what, what is your top three songs right now? Like your top three go-to songs that, man, if I'm in a rut, I'm going to listen to the songs. Don't get me out this rut. I'm going to remember. And I can say that I'm going to be hopeful in the middle. Top three songs. Hmm. And it could be like so, songs now or back in the day. What? Okay, so I have 
Number one on the list is Undefeated Champion by Bethel Music. Okay. Yeah, that, that yeah. really get me. <laughs> yeah. Um, The other one is, hmm, this is a great question. Because now, it's so funny because I listen to all these songs and now I'm like, wait, which one? <laughs> Um, so, you I mean, so you probably have like a whole bunch that's tied for first, tied for second, tied for third. <laughs> listen, um, The Blessing by Elevation. That was really good. And, hmm. Ooh, man. I'm really trying to think. Uh, I would say, uh, Nathaniel Bassey, uh, You Are God. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, a whole bunch of little mix of everything, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I listen to everything, so. I see. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, listen, there's no prejudice towards yeah. one genre. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good, yeah, especially you being a singer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But see, this question really reminds me of what my mommy always says. We have the same mom. We just say my mom. We're real possessive in our family. I know, we are. My mother. <laughs> it might be an African thing. But <laughs> my mom always says, like, if you have life, you have hope. Yeah. So if you wake up another morning, you have hope. Like mm -hmm. Lamentation chapter 3, verse 21 23 says, Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. Hmm. For his compassion never fails. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Yes. So for me, I think like how I can remain, remain hopeful in the middle is just like God's faithful. Like you said, God is faithful. Yes. Like, God is faithful. Even when we were faithless and we we're ratchet and we we're acting doing our own thing. Come on now. God said, you know what? I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna save you. I'm still gonna choose you. I'm still gonna appoint you. And it's crazy how like God can take. Messed up people like me and you. I get to talk about me. I don't know about you, but messed up people like me. Me too. So, <laughs> me too. And he's all like, you know what? I'm still going to choose. I'm just going to use your story as a testimony to bring people to the kingdom. So I'm just okay. amazed at every day of God's faithfulness and his grace towards us.